I'm not a big proponent of doing summer school. I want you to take a break. I want you to enjoy your summer. However, there are some times that summer school is warranted. And in this video, what I want to do is tell you when you should be taking summer school classes and when you should not. And if you're not, what are some things that you can do? All right, maybe you just failed your math class or you got by with a grade, but you really didn't understand the material that you needed to. You know next year is going to be a challenge. Should you retake the course during summer school? Maybe you're transitioning from middle school to high school, high school to college, or maybe you're going back to school from many years outside of education. Would maybe a remedial summer class be what's best for you? How do we know if this is going to be the best decision for us? Well, let's go and break down each of these scenarios and kind of see when summer school makes sense and when it doesn't. So one thing I want you to know, I never took summer school as a student. Even though I was a struggling math student, I never had to retake a course or take extra courses to go ahead and catch up. I could have. I just never felt it was the right for me. And the reason why is because I really enjoyed my summer. I loved working during my summer. I loved hanging out with my friends during the summer. And I loved the mental break that the summer allowed for me as a student. And I realize not every student needs that mental break, but I think it is really, really important for the learning journey for you to give yourself a break either way. So even if you do decide to take summer school or do some of the things that I outlined in this video, still try to make sure you give yourself some time to take a break and enjoy the time in between your semesters. So what about if you failed the class or maybe let's say you, you got by with like a D or a C, but in reality, you kind of know if it wasn't due to maybe your teacher's grading policy or with online learning, you probably would have failed the class. And guess what? Next year, you're taking the next math class. You're worried. You know that you don't know what you need to know to be successful in that course. Or maybe you know that you have that one teacher that's going to make your life very, very difficult. Should you take summer school or how do you know if summer school is the right fit for you? So first thing you have to acknowledge is that you have a deficit in your understanding. I don't want you to hide from it. I want you to accept it. It doesn't matter who is to blame for that deficit in understanding. You just need to know that needs to be overcome before you're gonna be successful in your understanding or with your grade. So if you're a student kind of like me and you need maybe some structured learning, I think summer school is gonna be great for you. I think summer school would be a great option to be able to retake the course. Now, again, the, the tough thing with summer school, it's a condensed course. It's gonna be moving quicker during the regular term. However, if you are taking the class and you're just taking summer school to redo the material, hopefully you already have a base or a foundation of the knowledge. So summer school is going to review a lot of stuff you do know, which in general is not gonna be that bad. It might be a little boring, but eh you probably need it. But then also it's going to hit on some of the stuff that you just didn't understand before. And to be in reality, guys, there's nothing wrong with that. Regardless of your teacher or for the reason of why you didn't understand something, a lot of times our brains just need to hear something more than once, or we just need a little bit more time for things to really sink in. Now, the downside with taking summer school is it's going to require a lot of time and it's a commitment. It can, it's a time commitment as well as a financial commitment. And that might not be the best for everybody. So maybe you do need summer school to retake the course, but maybe it's just not something feasible for you. What's something else you can do. Well, what I would recommend doing is go back through the whole course. Hopefully you just didn't light a fire and burn all of your homework and tests and quizzes from last year, because that's a lot of solid information. What I recommend doing is pick like three to four weeks, try to treat it like your own summer school plan. Just decide to focus on either an hour a day or an hour and a half every other day, and just start reviewing back over your notes. Go back through some of the homework, practice some of those practice problems, go back over your test and do some of those math problems. It's not exciting and it's actually not really fun, especially if it's something that you kind of struggled and you didn't fully understand. But the main thing here is commitment. Summer school is great because you're committed. When you spend money and you have to show up, you're generally going to show up. But when you just say, hey, I'm going to spend an hour a day, you might do that for one or two weeks, but then a lot of students just give up. So it's difficult. But I think just still going back through and reviewing the material, even if you just don't change your understanding from like a C understanding to an A understanding, you're going to make some connections. You're going to understand the material better. You might want to look into maybe getting with a tutor or meeting up with some other students, maybe once every week to review that material. But I think just the fact of you spending some of your time, some of your time during the summer reviewing that material is definitely going to help you and get you better prepared moving into the next year. Just make sure if you spend like those four to five weeks at the beginning of the summer that you still like allocate at least a, a week before the next upcoming school year to kind of review all that stuff again. Cause you want the information to be relatively fresh as you're entering into the next year. Now, what about if you didn't fail your math class, but you're coming back to school, you're kind of deciding like, Hey, should I jump into pre-calculus and I haven't taken math in 10 years? Do I really need that remedial math class that doesn't give me any credit? Like what's the best course of action there? And while I say yes, I think going back to like the previous math class and taking that over the summer is a great option. Again, that does require a lot of bit of time as well. It might be a little bit more redundant than what you need. So one thing I would recommend doing is maybe looking at an online course for the course that you're going to be taking and maybe going through that material on your own. Again, 
again, this is going to take a commitment on your part. And again, not all online courses are going to be free. I offer online courses as well. If you're interested in taking a look at what I offer, go ahead and check down in my description, but it doesn't really matter if it's my course or somebody else's course. I think going through a general course and getting a general understanding of the material that you're going to be covering from a different perspective is going to give you a good foundation as you get through the school year. If you're not used to doing the math, it can sometimes be overwhelming. And I don't want you to be wasting your time doing stuff that you already know or that you can pick up rather quickly and spending so much time doing it. Now, the main thing I do want you to take away though, if you are taking an online class or if you are reviewing older material that you didn't understand, you have to put in the work. You just can't watch videos or review your notes and say, oh, yep, I'm good you have to practice problems. So do problems that you already have the answer to. Cover them up and go and work through them. Work back through your homework. Work back through old tests. As far as on a course goes, make sure you're practicing the practice problems. Even the problems that are given as examples, make sure you can work through them on your own. And again, if you are taking that exact same class through the upcoming year, don't be so worried on not understanding the material. Just make sure you have a good solid foundation so you know what to expect as the school year begins. Now, what about if I'm pretty good at math and I just want to try to get ahead? One of my questions I get on my live streams time and time again is should I take an extra math class over the summer. I want to get ahead. I want to graduate early. I want more credits. Do you think it's worth it? And the short answer is yes. I think every student should challenge themselves with their mathematics. I want you to learn as much mathematics and to take as much mathematics as you feel you are capable of doing. And I think taking a math course as in a condensed version is definitely something that's going to challenge you. However, I've found out from a lot of students that have maybe entered into my pre-calculus course taking like algebra two over the summer. If they weren't very strong math students, a lot of times they did not have that strong foundation of the material that I needed them. So taking math summer school classes is not for everyone. I think there's a lot of extra work that you need to put into outside the curriculum that I don't think I want every student to participate in. And here's a couple reasons. One, as I mentioned at the beginning, I want you to enjoy your summer. I want you to be taking a mental break. Your mental health is extremely important and learning is a lifelong journey. There is no race to how fast you can finish or to earn your degree. I know we all want to be the best, the fastest, the smartest, but I think it's also important to not only just challenge yourself in one area, but also to look at a broader perspective. And what I mean from this is like when I was in school, I played three sports, football, wrestling, and baseball. And the skill set that I needed for each of those sports was completely different. Yes, of course there was overlap, but I had to develop a different skill set for each one. And I believe those different skill sets all played a part on helping me be successful later in life. I learned different things from each of those sports. And I think about academic classes the exact same way. Well, maybe math is your strong suit and you just kind of feel like, well, taking more and more math classes is going to challenge me, which yes, it probably does. But it's also like playing one sport throughout the year. Yes, you're going to get better at that one sport, but eventually I think the benefits of just doing that one sport or just focusing on one curriculum area is eventually going to wear off eventually you are going to get a little bit burnt out. I think some of the skills and the knowledge you can learn from taking different courses is really something that's at a loss if you're not focusing outside of what your skill set is. I think there can be a lot said on focusing on your strengths and not focusing so much on your weaknesses. But I also think in that same conversation, we can talk about the strength of being a well-rounded student. So maybe if math is your strong suit, take a course that is going to challenge you outside of math and see what that does for you. There's a couple things I want you to know. First, I want you to take a break. I want you to enjoy the time that you have between semesters enjoy the relationships, enjoy some healthy space within your journey, but also realize the one and only way that you're going to learn is you got to put in the work. And for whatever reason, if you struggled with not knowing the information or you haven't learned the information in so long, the only way to accomplish that is to put in the work. And if you can't be committed yourself or structure, then look into summer school. If you know exactly what you need to do, then set a schedule and get committed to learning what you need to do for the upcoming year. I hope this video is helpful and I hope you have a great summer or break in between courses. If you're looking for more resources to get better at math, go ahead and check out the resources that for you below or the next video I have for you here. Cheers.